Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Strike Force update video. So I know it's been a long time since I sent you guys an update, but we've been grinding this whole month and we've been trying to get as much done as we can for you, but you guys have to understand that a lot has to be done for a game. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the updates that we have done so far since the last video and we are getting actually really, really close to uh, releasing the game. Quickly, I wanna mention, if you guys are in a Discord server, make sure you join a Discord server, just discord.gg slash 123D. We are going to be having a skin competition. So we're gonna be trying to find some skin artists and the best skins will be added into the game. So if you guys don't know, if you go to my Discord right here, just discord.gg slash 123D, you guys can head over to game progress and you guys can see that I've been posting, I've been posting leaks with, uh, the, or the main developer altered mine, shout out to him. And we've been posting a lot of leaks so far and a one big feature that I want you guys to use is if you guys head over to Strike Force Questions, which is for everyone to use, you guys can come over here and create a question and me or the devs will answer your question. What I want to mention, the big thing we're going to be doing, like I said, we're going to be having an event. We're going to be having a skin event. So uh, after this video is up, I'm going to be posting an event here. So it's going to be hashtag events. We're going to, have a, we're going to hold a competition to see who can make the best skin for the op. So if you guys do want to participate in the skin making event, all the directions will be in hashtag events as well as the op file. So you guys can make your own skin, be creative, and have some fun. So make sure you go check them out. We're going to have a skin polls right here. You guys can't see this yet, but once you guys go join my Discord server, you'll be able to see that we're going to have skin polls open. So we're going to be posting people's op skins uh, for you guys to vote on. Also, if you guys aren't in the Roblox group, make sure to go and join 123D Studios. It's just 123D Studios on Roblox. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll be giving out... Uh, make sure to join because I'll be giving the members of the group special items in game once the game comes out. So if you guys are new to this, I am creating a new game on Roblox and it's basically like Roblox CSGO and it's called Strike Force. So this is the main UI. So when you join the game, you see this. So you have home, game mode, inventory, shop, and credits. So here's my avatar. You guys are gonna have a pin. You're gonna have your credits right there. And you got all the nice UI. Same thing as I showed in the last video, but the main difference here, we got this amazing, amazing settings bar. So you guys can change your music. You can turn off your music if you want. You can turn down your volume, main menu, and sound effects. And then you could save the changes. And here we go, graphics. So if you guys don't know, so the people, I've been getting a lot of comments saying like, got Danny, Danny, my PC is not the best. My laptop is not the best. And I understand guys, I know. We can, we can make it, we can set it to low. We can set this all to low and you guys will be able to we'll have raggles off and blood off and here save changes. And you guys will be able to actually play the game in the best quality. And uh, let me just turn this all back on for you guys. So you guys get the best experience on my PC. And so that gives you the best uh, quality. Uh, you can change the quality for your game so you guys can get more FPS. Controls, so here's your mouse sensitivity, FOV, and then crosshair. Here's my favorite feature. So look at this. You guys have all these maps, and you guys can see how the crosshair looks at in, in this. I haven't really played around this too much, but you guys got all these different things. So here we got the uh, image size. Here we got the crosshair length. So if you guys look on the right side, see this crosshair getting bigger and bigger. And let's say you mess up your crosshair. Let's say I saved it, and then I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't remember. You guys can go click reset, and it goes back to their saved crosshair. So that's another nice feature. I want to head over to the credits. So here are the credits in the game. If you guys didn't know, we are going to be pricing the shop cases at 50 credits, and then we're going to have an event case every single event, which is going to be more expensive. And so here are the credit shop. So we're still working on this to be like a little nicer, but here we go. So basically, if you have premium, you get more credits. So, and then we have the shop and then we have the inventory right here. So this is how the inventory looks like. Here's a little sneak peek of the skin of a, a little skin. Ignore the names we were, this is just in testing. So ignore that. And you guys can filter out through here. And I don't know, let me know what you guys think so far. Leave a comment. Uh, what types of skins you guys want to be seen in game. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the game And like I said, we will be opening the game to alpha testers soon. So a lot of people in last video really really wanted to uh, Be an alpha tester. So I'm gonna be opening up the server very very soon Probably by the next video. So everyone who joins the server is gonna be an alpha tester and it's gonna be open for a little period of time So here we have the deagle like I showed in the other video and we have some new gloves right here Yes, yes, they look pretty nice ignore the right side. We're just messing with the image icons I don't actually have like the c4 is not actually a deagle, but yes yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the new images of the models that we have on the screen right now as well as some other game leaks so let me know what you guys think all right so here we go on the screen we got the tech 9 so yes you guys see the tech 9 look at this amazing model that we have made so shout out to the modeler and the texture because these guys together make insane looking guns next we got the usps look again looks super great 
I love I love this one. This is one of the first ones that we made and it looks so nice. Then we have the gut knife. I know a lot of people hate the gut knife, but we made the gut knife look really nice. So instead of a wooden handle, we made it look more metallic. So I can't wait to see the skins on that. Next, we got the dual Berettas. Look at that. Look at the engraving of the SF, the strike force on the right side of the grip. Next, we got the Deagle, the iconic 123D marked Deagle with the nice grip. Look at that. Look at this. This is probably one of the best made models and guns that we made as a team. So each model and gun was made by the team. Shout out to them. Really nice guys, and they've been helping out this whole entire time. Uh, next up, we have the T knife. This one looks super clean, and back to back, we got the CT knife right here. Look at this, super nice. Next, one of my most, one of my favorite knives is the Huntsman knife. All the skins in other games make the Huntsman knife look pretty pretty ugly, but I am excited to make some skins for this knife. And let me know what you guys think. What kind of skins do you guys want to see for the Huntsman? Next, we got the Falchion. The Falchion used to be actually my favorite knife, but now it's no longer my favorite knife. I would probably say the Butterfly is my favorite. Falchion is definitely one of my favorite knives, but look at this. Look at this. Look at the detail that we have on this model. Like, this model just looks insanely nice. The carbon fiber and, like, just the steel just looks amazing. Next, we got the R8 Revolver. So, this beefy looking gun. This is the revolver that's in CSGO. So... Look at this, look how nice this one looks. We got the 1, 2, 3D incorporated on the muzzle. Next, we got the Nova, the one, the shotgun that can be pretty OP, if you ask, if you know what I mean. Uh, the AK-47, so a lot of people have been waiting to see this skin, or I mean this this like stock. So this one actually took a lot of time. We had to go through a couple versions. Uh, we had to recreate it a couple times. A lot of time and money went into this AK, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is probably one of the more expensive uh, guns that had that took us a lot of time and money but i love it i love it i love i love the wood i love the the metal finish and i just love everything about it it just looks so nice and clean next we got the p90 nothing to say it's just a p90 got the ump looks pretty good all these images will be posted and more in the hashtag game progress in the discord server we got the p2000 i'm pretty sure yeah this is the p2000 looks pretty cool we made it look pretty nice uh, another another uh one of the other guns that we uh, spent a lot of time on was this op. So uh, we were trying to revise it and make it look a little cooler and better, but it's really hard to make make an op like different. You know, it's an op. So we made a little bit, some little changes, if you guys can tell. Uh, but this one took a couple. I think we remodeled this one three times. It took us a while to make it, but this one looks amazing. I love the finish. the The texture guy just made made it look insane. It looks so nice. Next, we have my second favorite knife. Of course, I think this is like probably one of people's favorite knives the karambit so the karambit just looks insane this and the ak were one of the, the most uh expensive ones to make so just look at the detail on this knife it just looks so nice we got we got some dust marks on the blade we have sf engraved so strike force engraved on the point where uh the the handle meets the knife if you guys look carefully right there it just looks insane i love this one this one probably turned out the best we got the galil everyone knows the galil the FAMAS, not not my favorite looking, but you know how much uh, the FAMAS textures, it looks pretty good. I would say I like it. Next, I want to show you guys the the grenades that we have. So I couldn't get a screenshot of them in game because I didn't have enough time. I'm trying to create this video uh, pretty, pretty late at night. But this is what the modeler and texture guy sent me. So we got the grenade, a little HE grenade on the left side, the Molotov, the flashbang in the middle with the red. Then right next to it, on the right of that, we have the lighter. So we may look pretty nice. Look at that eagle on the lighter. It looks so cool. And then we have the Molotov incinerator grenade for the CT side and the smoke grenade. Let me know what you guys think. I wish I could show you guys better angles of it, but I will in the next video or in hashtag game progress. And then the bomb. So this bomb, I wanted to uh, show you guys earlier, but this one took a lot of time and effort to make. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to make models and texture them, guys. It's not. It's not that easy. Everyone thinks like, oh, let me just make it. Imagine making stuff from scratch. This thing took a lot of time, but I, I'm happy. I love how it looks. Let me know what you guys think about all these things that you guys have seen, because everything I think looks amazing. And then I wonder what you guys think of the new kill feed. So this is the kill feed that we're going to be showing in game instead of the last one, because it's going to be different from the one I showed in the last video. Because I did see a couple of you guys didn't like it, so we did change it up. Like I said, we listened to what you guys saying. So let me know what you guys think of all the stuff I've shown you. Let me know in the comments. Go in the comments right now and be like, yo, Danny, comma, and then say what you want to say. Let me know what you guys think. I'm excited to read the comments, and I'll try to respond to all of them as soon as possible. <sighs>
So make sure to like the video, subscribe, and let me know if you guys are excited for Strike Force in the comments. Go in the comments and let me know how excited you guys are for Strike Force because we are getting really, really close. Also, let me know what you guys think of the game and let me know what you guys want to see in the game because, like I said, this is a community run game. Like, we're, I'm going to be listening to what you guys have to say. Let me know what you guys have to say and I'm going to put it into the game.